Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're looking at the 8587 again, but you might notice that something looks a little bit different. So if we look at the back hangs, we can tell that we actually have brand new back hangs on here. Very nice. So um, yeah, uh, I have the guy that I get openers from come out here and inspect everything. Uh, super nice guy. Uh, he actually, you know, let me help him with the uh, installation. I let him took it down. I actually have a picture of it uh, while it was down. Uh, I may include that in the end of this video. However, um, first of all, let's just talk about this real quick. So, had the opener down. Um, you know, he checked the, uh, checked the spring tension. Uh, I thought that the springs were a bit too hot. But uh, he seemed to say that uh, they're actually okay. Um, so the, the bottom part of the door is, uh, is pretty good. It's just the last section or two where it wants to fly open. Um, but it's, it's really not that bad. Uh, for some reason, my camera is kind of blurry here. Hold on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the camera is better now. So, um... Anyway, uh, the springs are the same as they were. I was going to grease them. I greased the right spring, and then I found out that I was out of grease. So, yeah. Oh, well. Um, he did take the opener down, though, uh, because he agreed that the back hangs that were on here were complete trash. If we look at them here. Yeah, that's not quality. Oh, they actually, like, doubled them together. I didn't even notice that. Well, that's pretty bad. Super glad to have new back hangs on here now. Uh, the opener is more solid. Uh, it still moves a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's going to be perfect ever, but, um, you know, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, he actually, you know, showed me a lot of stuff about how to take an opener down and stuff, which was cool. And um, he let me put the opener back up. So that was also cool. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and run this. I'll let you... See how it runs. Springs are still making a little noise just because that one spring is not greased right now. But uh, let's go ahead and run it. Here we go. It does move a little bit, but um, it's not bad. Uh, it's, it's way better than it was, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and run it down here. So, yeah, it runs pretty solid. Uh, the chain is pretty much the way I, uh, I want it. Here, I'll open this again. Um, but, yeah. Chain there, and yeah, this moves a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Um, one problem that we did see though so, this opener was supposed to have a chain spreader, right? Uh, there is obviously no chain spreader on this motor, uh, it's supposed to have one. Um, so he, uh, you know, he gives me a chain spreader, I put the chain spreader on, everything looks okay. Uh, we get the opener installed back up, and um, I go to set the limits, and uh, the thing starts popping like crazy. So I was like, you know, what's the problem here? Um, basically, what the problem was, so the, <clears throat> excuse me, the people that put this in uh, apparently did not have an eight-foot chain, so they thought it would be a wonderful idea to put on a seven-foot chain and then uh, put a master link and link a bunch of... Uh, a little bit more chain on there so um that's why when the opener gets near the top there's a pop because that's where the chain link goes over um and when i had the chain spreader on there it almost yanked the whole thing off so um unfortunately i can't have the chain spreader though i do believe i kept the chain spreader i hope i did um i don't know he gave me a packet of grease though <coughs> But, um, yeah, he said I can, you know, sometime eventually I might go and buy a chain somewhere. Uh, I don't know where, but, um, anyway, yeah. 
So I learned how, uh, how to take an opener down, which means I'll probably be taking a lot more openers down in the future. Uh, this, this thing obviously works pretty good. Uh, he put a kicker on there as well, off to the side. So that kind of helps it stabilize. Also the fact that the angle is way better than it used to be. Um, so yeah, basically what he did, he took the opener down, inspected the door, and did all that stuff. And then um, he cut the angle, put the angle back up, and uh, got the opener on the ceiling. And then I did the rest of it. I tightened the chain up, put uh, the door arm in, got everything back installed, got this up here and set the limits. Uh, I probably could go a little more on the up limit. It's just hanging slightly over the edge, but uh, that's not a big deal. So yeah, uh, the balance of the door remains the same. Um, if we grab the door here, a little bit hard to pull down on the, on the first part, but uh, if we get it down below here, it gets really easy and just pull it down the rest of the way <coughs> and it goes pretty smooth so yeah, it's smooth there pretty smooth there get it over that and then the rest of the door just goes up and it connects uh, we'll give it one more run down Yeah, there's a little bit of a chain slappage there. We can do a sensor check real quick. Just a quick one. Since I don't video this opener that often. So yeah, this thing runs really nice. Um, check out HH Garage Door Services if you live in the um, Middle Tennessee area. Uh, he does great work. Um, also, really nice guy, taught me a lot of stuff, and now I know how to install an opener. And, uh, I will be ripping these cornerstone stickers off of here. Um, <laughs> I mean, not really because they did a bad job. Um, they didn't do a horrible job, but, uh, I don't really want stickers on my opener. Um, anyway. But, yeah, uh, one more thing I want to show you, and then, uh, I'll be done talking. Uh, we'll close from the keypad here. I do want to show you this real quick here. Let's come over to my keypad. We'll close the door. Do want to show you this right here. This is still kind of dented. <coughs> and the reason for that is because, uh, so when this thing, when the spring broke on this thing, basically... You know the door was uh was struggling the str the you know the, sp the spring popped uh the door was not operating so uh my dad tried to pull the emergency release because he figured that would uh, work but um of course when he did that the door slammed to the ground <coughs> excuse me i'm a little bit sick but um yeah and the, it dented it so um anyway doesn't really look that bad. Uh, the problem is that it kind of weakened the uh, bottom section of the door a little bit. But uh, other than that, not really too bad. Um, See, so yeah, I'm satisfied with this. If anything, I'd tighten the chain up a little bit just so it doesn't slap on the way down. But um, it's not a big deal. I'd rather it be too loose than too tight. So, yeah, uh, that's about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.